On today's Toy Spot, we're going to be having a look at DC Superheroes Doomsday. Doomsday comes to us from the second wave of DC Superheroes. The first wave was the wave that had the Batman, Bane, Killer Croc, and Batman? I don't know if I said Batman already, but the second wave... Now, I don't have the packaging for this. If you saw my review of the Superman, same idea with the Doomsday here. I don't have the packaging, but I'll show you the packaging on... Supergirl here because it would have been the same. So we've got the orange and yellow starburst packaging. Now it would have said obviously Doomsday at the bottom there. On um, the back of the packaging he would have come with. We would have had the other characters in the wave. So we have Superman, we've got Supergirl, there's Doomsday there, and there's also Bizarro. Um, now, I won't touch it face on any more of the packaging, but looking at the figure itself, I really like the Doomsday. I mean, it it only has one drawback, and I won't get to it right away, but I'll, I'll touch base first on the character, on the detailing, and the articulation, because it excels well in both cases. Um, in the way of the likeness, it is a really nice likeness of Doomsday. And, uh, I mean, from a distance, it doesn't... It's nice, but I find as you get closer and closer to the figure, there's all these little nuances that you actually, when you look at them, you're like, oh, that's kind of nice, that's kind of nice. Um, one being, I don't know if you guys can actually see in there, but contained within his eye, you know, he's got the bone running across his eyes there, but you can actually even make out little red eyeballs in there, which I think is a nice touch um, as well. If you actually look inside, I don't, even, I don't even know if the camera's going to get any of this, but inside his mouth, you can actually see, like, there's the red tongue and everything else inside. It's not just a mouth. Um, so, I mean, there is a lot, lot of detailing put in the figure. He's got a nice ponytail going on here. Nice rubbery, uh, rubbery hair there. Um, loads and loads and loads of sculpt in the actual spine with the, the, the bone the bone intrusions here. Did I say intrusions? That's not right. But all the uh, the bone detailing here is quite nice. He's got the bone in his in his forearm, and and as well as uh, he's got these long, long spikes sticking out of his elbows, so he can go for those, you know, those uh, bionic elbows if he wants to uh, lay the damage on on Superman. And then he's got the uh, the shorts with the nice tattered fabric. Uh, now in the comics, he when he first appeared, he was wearing a, a full outfit, a full solid outfit. Uh, it was green, and then he had goggles on. Um, as he was fighting the Justice League, this outfit eventually ripped, and he was left with just these Hulk-like shorts. And he's got the green boots going on there as well. Um, his articulation is is really nice. It's it's the articulation the same as what we got with the Superman, so there's lots of movement in his face, in his head. He's got articulation in the shoulders, in the elbows. He's got articulation, swivel articulation. He's got articulation in the hands as well. Um, there's articulation in the torso as well as in the waist, I think. Yep, in the waist. Um, there is articulation in the leg. Leg goes out as well. And there's articulation in his knee as well as in his foot. Um, one problem I have with the articulation, and it's the same I touched base on with the Superman, is is this part right here. Um, they've done it in such a way that you can have articulation in the legs if you want to bend the legs outward. I find the only problem, and I, I have about four figures that do this, um, being that the way the articulation is laid out on this on the figure itself, when you stand the figure, and I'm not talking plain with the figure or anything like that, but when you 
if you were just to have this figure standing on your shelf, you'll eventually start finding that it gets really, really loose right around this section here. Um, the legs, now granted that's from the waist, but I, I have a Lex Luthor and his, his legs are starting to get a little loose in this area here. Um, bit of a bad design on the way the figure was, was made, but there is so much more to like about this figure than to dislike that I, I can't give it bad marks just because the way it's been, the way it was designed is bad, but the way it looks is nice. Um, now, going to the one problem I have with this figure, and it's not really a complaint, but if you look at this figure, and I'll move him over, move him about there, and if I bring in Superman, which, is he even going to stand? I seem notorious for having videos where my figures don't stand all that well. But if I have Superman, now they're scaled appropriately to one another. I don't have one with me that I can show you right now, but if I take like the Build-A-Figure of Grundy from DC Universe, um, Grundy, and you won't see my hand, but Grundy is, you know, dwarfs this guy. And even like Calabac, Calabac, um, which was also a Build-A-Figure from the later DC Universe, towers this guy as well. Um, I'll move Superman out of the way here. The only gripe I have with this figure is that this figure, as well as what I commented on with the Bane, this figure needs to have a Build-A-Figure made. Um, this figure, as nice as it is, I think if you ask me, imagine taking this figure now and then looking at it if it was a build a figure where it had these huge arms huge legs this huge head and you built it and you put it together and you had a really really tall figure that uh, you know was about the size of Sol Solomon Grundy that would be the definitive doomsday um, this doomsday is nice but this this needs to be a build a figure as well um, if the four horsemen are watching this video or if DC or anyone like that if you you guys need to bring this guy out as a build a figure I mean he he rightfully deserves it for crying out loud he, he took out Superman um, but that that's my one gripe and it it's not a gripe towards this figure I'm just saying this figure needs to have a build a figure made but uh, overall I love this figure and it shows really well with especially if you have the Superman as well but uh, there you have a toy spot on the DC Superheroes Doomsday. And with that, I'll catch you guys next time. Later.